This video talks about the socio-economic elements of aviation. When we talk about social, we mean the interaction of people. When we talk about the economics, we mean the production, the distribution, and the consumption of goods and services. When we talk about the socioeconomics, is the social part plus the economical part. The aviation industry is a very global industry. Let me introduce some figures about this one. We have about 1,500 airlines worldwide and more than 4,000 airports. It's almost around 200 air traffic control centers and about half, about 50% of world's population, which means around 3 billion uh, passengers. Some of the socioeconomic elements of aviation are, for instance, jobs created at the airport, at the airlines, and so on. Another one is trade. So aviation facilitates trade between uh, different markets, allows tourists to go to different destinations, uh, has a direct impact on the economy and as well on the environment. Let's go one by one. As the aviation industry grows, the number of jobs also grow. And we are about we are around 60 million now. But it is estimated that by 2030 there will be more than 80 million jobs in aviation. Jobs are divided into different groups. We have direct jobs, for instance, a, a pilot working for an airline. We have indirect jobs, for instance, uh, an architect working for the architecture firm designing a new airport. We have induced jobs. I mean, near the airport, there are many people working for airlines and airports, and those people go to the supermarket, do, go shopping and so on. So there is a number of jobs of those shops which are going to be induced from aviation. And last, and as, as the most important thing, are all the tourism-related jobs created because of aviation. When we look at direct jobs, the airlines are the companies in the aviation sector which recruit most people. When we look at direct jobs by world region, North America is the largest with over 3.09 million, followed by Asia, and having Europe as the third one. But this situation will change in the future because Asia will become, in the near future, the region in the world with largest number of direct jobs in the aviation. If we look at Europe, Turkey appears as the country with the largest number of jobs in the aviation industry. In addition to jobs, an additional socioeconomic element of aviation is trade. And air transport serves as a developer trade. How? Well, it helps to develop international markets. For instance, it allows people to travel from one market to another, so then it facilitates this exchange. Second, it allows globalization of production. It means that uh, maybe some of your smartphones you are having in your pocket, it has been designed in one country, let's say in the US, it has been uh, manufactured in China, but all those pieces in China, they come from all different places. So many of those are being transported by air cargo. So it means that air uh, aviation in this context facilitates globalization of production by also uh, using air cargo, which is about one third of all the uh, transport in the world by value. Dell is a PC company and this video shows very well how uh, the supply chain of each element used for the production of computers come from many different places around the world. 
A third socioeconomic element of aviation is tourism. And when we are talking about international tourism, more than 50% of passengers, of people going on holidays to international destinations, they use the plane as the main transport mode. So we can say that air transport is responsible of more than 50% of international tourism. Tourism can take place in remote communities. I can think as an example of my, from my home country, the Canary Islands, which are at the west of North Africa, is composed of several island, islands. For people living in those islands, where tourism is the main source of income, aviation allows them to be connected to the rest of the world. But not only that, Aviation gives them access to essential services, such as healthcare. There are people living in small islands that they have to go to the bigger islands for the, going to the doctor. And when there's something very, very serious, even they have to go to the mainland of Spain for a complex operation. So then these remote communities, aviation is a perfect alliance. Another socioeconomic element is the impact of the economy itself. Again, for figures for 2010, the contribution of aviation was 2.2 trillion of US dollars. But you might ask yourself, how much is a trillion? Okay, let's uh, see how much it is. We have billion, millions, which we need six zeros. For billions, we put three more zeros. So for trillions, we put three more. One, two, three. So in total, we have 10 to the power of 12. 12 zeros for one trillion. So the contribution of aviation to the economy is 2.2 trillion dollars. But you don't have trillions in your bank account. So it's difficult to get an idea about how much a trillion is. So let's compare a trillion with the Turkish economy. The total Turkish economy in 2012 was 0.8 trillions. So we can say that the aviation industry is three times of the economy of Turkey. And it represents about 3.5% of the total economy worldwide. This is what represents the aviation industry. But not all the elements are positive. We have the environment in which the aviation could have a negative impact. That's why, with the baseline of 2010, there are an objective, which is very aggressive, about reducing 50% of the emissions, CO2 emissions, to the atmosphere by 2050. So as a summary, we can say that the aviation industry generates about 50 to 60 million jobs, which we can think about two thirds of the population of Turkey, which is 75 to 80 million people. Aviation facilitates trade and one third of uh, world's cargo is transported by air. Aviation is also very important for tourism as 50, more than 50% of international tourists travel by air. Aviation has a very important contribution to the economy and is up to three times the GDP of Turkey, the global impact of aviation. But aviation can also have negative impacts on the environment, and that's why there are measures to try to reduce the impact by 50% in 2050. Thank you very much.